Six Flags St. Louis for Memorial Day today. And things didn't start off as they usually do. Now, I did ride Eagle first train of the day, but it was not a Zen ride this time. I think pretty much every time I've gotten first train on Eagle this year has been a Zen ride, well, except for one time, I think, but no Zen ride today. And it was a little bit rough today as well because I was on the red train, but it was still a good ride. Now I'm going to go down towards Rookie Racer and try and see if I can get a Zen ride on that. I've gotten close a couple times, but still haven't gotten it. So maybe today's the day. Rookie Racer was pretty fun, but no Zen right today. Maybe someday I'll get it, but today is not that day. Now let's ride Boss and see how this one's running. And hopefully it's not as rough as Eagle, because Eagle was pretty rough today. <laughs> $131,000 with a second blaster on the first try? That's awesome! If I keep that up all day, I can definitely see at least one double max happening, which I feel like I need that today if I want any shot at hitting 1,606 flags over Texas in about a week and a half. So, I think we should get up to 1,560 for now, and I'm at 1,558 right now, so I need two more and then I'll go right France. rode Justice League a few more times, and then I rode front and back on Mr. Freeze with my friend Lily. You might have seen her in some of my vlogs from September of last year, and I was actually all with her after her not being able to make it to the park for the start of the season. I'm gonna start getting four shots this ride now, because I haven't really been doing that much, because, well, I've been talking with Lily when I've been hanging out with her for the last little bit here, and then we'll get to Justice League after a while here, because I'm still determined to hit 1600 in over Texas, and I got a long way to go if I want to get there, so let's do that.
saw that Mr. Freeze was down and I decided to wait it out and I actually got a Zen ride on it. So that was awesome. I was a little disappointed that wasn't an over launch because it started off really powerful, but then about three fourths of the way down the launch, not like 80% of the way, it slowed down significantly. And I noticed it this time. Still, Zen ride on Mr. Freeze front row side A, absolutely incredible ride. I just rode log flips since it's another hot day outside and my sock got wet and it wasn't even on the big drop at the end. It was one of the turns in between the two lift hills that got me. So I was just wonderful. I wouldn't complain about it because it is pretty hot out and even on the big drop I got a little bit wet but still not as much. I feel like I would have liked to have gotten but it was by no means bad. Now I'm gonna go try Batman out since I haven't ridden that in a while. <laughs>
was pretty rough. It wasn't as much in terms of like head banging, which I don't think I hit my head once, but the rattle, especially in the two vertical loops, the rattle was insane today. I don't know what the deal was. Then again, I was on the back right outside, so maybe if it was in the back middle, I wouldn't have noticed it, but still, that was not the most pleasant. The rest of the ride was still good, but it was not as smooth as I've seen it run this year. And it's very rare that I find Batman to be the roughest coaster in the park, and I don't remember the last time I found that to be the case. But for today, Batman is not running smooth, at least in my opinion. about to ride boss again but it is now closed due to weather so i guess i'm gonna start laughing just to sleep for the remainder of the day because i was gonna do another two hour marathon anyway to ensure i have a better shot at getting 1600 at six flags over texas so let's head down that way right now the first screen is back to not working so now i definitely can't afford to miss any Man, it's so weird to see that the sun actually came back out. Before I went in on my last ride, it was not the brightest out here, but now it's actually quite bright. I could not have afforded to have missed that, but my stupid blaster did not work, and so now I'm pretty much screwed out of getting my 1600 and six flags over Texas. If I miss another one, then I'm definitely screwed, but man, that's just brutal. I did not film an outro at the park, but my final ride count from that day was 20 on Justice League, 3 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on Rookie Racer, and then 1 on Batman, Boss, Log Flume, and Screaming Eagle. In terms of highlights, I think it was Mr. Freeze. The three rides I got on it, both the ones in the front and the back with Lily, as well as the Zen ride I got, all three of those rides were excellent. And on top of that, I don't think any of the other rides I got really stood out. And that wraps up the vlog. Before we click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit Parks and Beach or check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.